Hi Chad, your friendly Balsa USA builder. Today I want to talk about uh, what shear webs add to the wing when you put them in. Everybody hates doing shear webs. I'm one of those people that hate doing them. Um, here I have the wing panel for my latest project. It doesn't have any shear webs in it yet. Um, we're going to show you how flexible it is. You can see how much flex the wing has in. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to install the shear webs. We'll take another video um, showing how flexible it is after the shear webs are put in. And then we'll take a third one after we finish what's called the D-tube. That's a type of construction that's used. Um, it's with the shear webs, the spars, and then the sheeting of the front, uh, the upper and lower leading edge. Um, so let me get the shear webs in and we'll get the second part of the video started. Chad back again. Um, I got the shear webs put in on the wing, both the uh, the rear spar front and back and the front spar front and back. Let me flip it over here. You can see them on in here. Um, <clears throat> this is the the second step to the the design to keep the wing strong. And you, you can see I'm using a lot more force. It's still um, you can still warp it a little bit, but it takes a lot more force to do it, and it doesn't do it near as much. Um, now the final part to the process is putting in the last piece of sheeting on the front, and that's what creates the D. When you look at it from the side, you'll see the, the D shape is what happens. Um, and that really strengthens up the wing. It's called a D-tube wing. Um, after I get that put on, uh, we'll take another recording and, and I'll show you how much stiffer the wing got from there. Chad back from Boss USA. I have the third part of the D-tube uh, and shear web wing done. Um, you can see I have the uh, sheeting on the front uh, top. I have all the shear webs in and now I have the sheeting on the bottom, the leading edge sheeting on the bottom. Um, that creates that uh, D shape that we we're talking about. Um, that really strengthens up the wing. Now you can see barely any flex at all. Um, if I go any harder, I'm gonna start breaking ribs. Um, so that's, uh, that's all there is to designing that. It makes a really strong wing that way. Um, if you guys have any more questions on why we design things the way we design them, feel free to ask and we'll uh, try and get some other videos made for you. Till next time, happy building.